Let's examine some important uh, functions. One function is NAND. So NAND, the name itself says that it is AND and NOT. So NOT AND is NAND. For example, if I have AB, the symbol NAND is represented as like this. The symbol specifies NAND. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Then what is the logic for NAND is? Uh, it is exactly the complement of AND. You know AND, right? So AND will give only uh, 1 for this. So NAND will behave the opposite way. It is 0, 1, 1, 1, right? So wherever AND has given 0, NAND will give 1, right? That is, that is how NAND works. And it is a very important gate in the construction of circuits later. Uh, now let's see what are the properties that uh, NAND will follow. So let us let's see whether uh, NAND will follow identity or not. If I take two signals which are same, identical signals, and if I apply to the NAND gate, is the output produced same? Which means what I mean to ask is, if I have A and if I apply A NAND A, right, is the output same as A? And one more thing, how to write this is, if I have A NAND B, it is nothing but AND followed, I mean not of AND, right? So A NAND B can be written like this, right? So now what I wanted to know is, are these two things equal or not? That is what I wanted to know, right? So how can I find out is, maybe there are two ways. One way is you substitute the values and then find it out, or you construct the table and then you find out what is each one. So if I construct the table A, A is input, right? 0 and 1, right? Therefore A is 0 and 1. Now let us see A and A, which means AND with A and then negate it. So if I do this, here I get 1. If I do this, here I get 0, right? So actually, what is that I am waiting is A complement, not A. Therefore, it is not equivalent. Therefore, uh, what can you say? It doesn't follow identity. Now let's see whether it follows commutative, <coughs> commutative rule or not. A, NAND, B, is it equal to B NAND A. Let's see this. So how can you write A NAND B? A and B not. And now you know that this uh, AND is commutative, right? Since AND is commutative, you can say that it is equal to this, right? Therefore, you could say that it is nothing but B NAND A, right? So this, these two are actually equal. Therefore, it is commutative. Now let's see associative works this or not, works with it or not associativity if i have a nand and if i associate with the right operator b is associated with the right operator which means right associative and is it equal to this which means b is associated to the left which means left associative uh, is left associativeness and right associate in the uh, nand in coming to nand are they equivalent or not that is what i wanted to prove so whenever you have anything like this, the standard method is if you want to be 100% right, the best method is you take the entire uh, table and then you, you know, write them, which means ABC you write the table and then you evaluate the LHS and then RHS and then you see that both are having the same values. That is how we compare the functions if you remember, right? But then if you want to be fast, then what you could do is in place of A, you put 0 on both the sides and verify them. And in place of A, you put 1 on both the sides and verify them. That is also a, you know, a kind of proof which will work faster. So if I put A equal to 0, let's see what happens. If I put A equal to 0, this, this entire thing is nothing but A ended with something complemented, right? Now if I put A equal to 0, directly what do you get? This entire thing is 0 and therefore it is 1. So the left hand side becomes 1. Now if I put A equal to 0 here, let's see what happens this one this one is nothing but a concatenated with b complement if i put a equal to 0 i get this entire thing as 1 now this entire thing is 1 and therefore 1 concat 1 here it is 1 nand with 0 c that is nothing but c complement why it is nothing but 1 dot c complement which is c complement 
so we got different expressions left side i am always getting 1 if a equal to 0 but right side value is depending on c which means it could be either 0 or 1 depending on the value of c therefore what can you say this uh, nand is not associative right very important nand is not associative keep that in mind right so you can even check whether nand is distributive or dot whether not nand is distributive or plus the same way how you write the rule and then give some value to a here and a same value to a there and you verify the expressions if you get different expressions you are going to say that they are not equal okay fine